Every week, new comic books are released, and some of them rest firmly in the genre of horror. And that's what this ongoing report is all about. Remember, this isn't a set of reviews, just a list of what you'll find when you hit the shops this week in Comics Horror, March 20th, 2024. Let's check out This Week in Comics Horror, March 20th, 2024. As usual, we begin with Ass, titties, ass and titties, ass, ass, titties, titties, ass and titties. A section where we pay homage to the female form on the covers of comics. This week, Dynamite Entertainment offers up two comics with powerful female leads and cheesecakey covers to represent them. First up is a rather tasteful cover for Elvira Meets H.P. Lovecraft No. 2 by David Avalone and Cooper Ball. This issue finds Elvira and Lovecraft searching high and low for the Necronomicon in the endless rows of books in the library of Miskatonic U, with a Cthulhu cult on their heels. But believe it or not, while this month there really isn't any cheesecakey covers for this issue, At least they're providing a sultry photo cover to ogle at. But have no fear, over at Vampirella number 667 makes up for the cake of cheese big time. Woo doggy, Katie bar the door. What a cover. Christopher Priest and Ergun Gundus puts Vampirella in a Groundhog's Day situation, reliving one cursed life after another, beginning at the same point where this series started, all the way back at issue number one. Fun, time-twisty stuff. And that cover... Ass and titties. Indie horror proves time and again that the best horror out there in comics are outside of the mainstream. Ahoy Comics continue their Project Cryptid series with issue number seven from creators Joseph Illich, A.A. Rubin, Jamal Igel, Juan Castro, and Richard Pace. The spotlight is on Bigfoot once again, as well as The Legend of John Crow, which is a cryptid I'm not familiar with. It's time to head back to Riverdale to visit Pop's Chocolate Shop of Horrors for more delicious and scary stories in this new anthology from Archie Comics. This time around, the foodie and small business horror comes from creatives Ryan Cady, Jonathan Morris, Amy Chase, Chris Panda, Liana Kangas, and Federico Sabatini. I finally got to digest the weirdness that is Dear Editor Number 1 and loved every kooky page of a typical noir detective tale about a journalist on the trail of solving a murder and a mystery. The only difference between this book and regular detective noir stories is that this detective has the head and hooves of a deer. This is a kooky series from Mad Cave Studios, Ryan K. Lindsay, and Sammy Kivella. And if issue three is as good as the one I just read, you're going to want to check out this off-the-wall series. Beneath the Trees Where Nobody Sees is another bizarre title that follows a diabolical serial killer as he murders residents of an anthropomorphic town of bears, mice, and all kinds of forest animals. It's Dexter if Dexter was a murderous mouse and it doesn't hold back on the creepy and gory bits. This fourth issue heightens the stakes as the killer is getting closer to being identified from series creators Patrick Horvath and Hassan Ostmain Elahou. Let's go back to Dynamite Entertainment, where a pair of properties from yesteryear get the modern comic book treatment. Army of Darkness Forever No. 6 follows Ash and his never-ending battle with the Deadites over three different timelines, the past, present, and future. And Gargoyles No. 12 from creators Greg Wiseman and artist George Cambadeas, signals the end of this popular 90s animated series and a bold new beginning for an upcoming one. Image Comics is always a hot place to find quality horror. The Infernals proves it with number two, coming from Ryan Parrott, Noah Gardner, and John Pearson. The book follows a succession-like story of Satan and his children who all try to take over hell once Satan has retired. Derivative? Sure. But also sounds kind of fun. Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino's The Bone Orchard Mythos 
Tenement number 10 seems to finally be offering up some answers about a group of tenants in an apartment building who find themselves trapped in a never-ending maze in a nightmare dimension. And the usual team of Kirkman and Adlard bring forth more zombie mayhem in their reissue of The Walking Dead number 85. This deluxe version comes to you in full bloody color and picks up the pieces after the undead Surge has finally been defeated. Finally, the big two have a pair of horror offerings this week from extremely competent creative teams. DC Comics has John Constantine, Hellblazer, Dead in America number 3, from Simon Spurrier and Aaron Campbell coming up. It's dealing with the American Dream, American Folk Tales, and Dream from the Endless, as well as John Constantine's search for a working heart. It's all quite diabolical and complex, but also sounds pretty interesting. And over at Marvel, Blade Number 9 from Brian Hill and Valentina Pinti has Blade amassing an army of the dead from hell to take on the evil monstrous Adana, who he has been battling since the beginning of this series. This Blade series has been consistently good. Well, that was 13 Mighty Horror Comics released this week. Surely there's something I listed there that you'll find worth your time and hard-earned money. Let me know which ones look good to you down in the comments. Please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Stuck inside your reality, your